Okay. <clears throat> the Galactic Ascension Machine was created when the primary lines of drama in the universe had gotten so out of control that the oversouls of the, the series of galaxies in the universe came together and said, we must clean it up. And they took the 66 most prime dramatic lines and they were labeled planets. They took all 66 of these planets and stuck them into one solar system. They teleported each and every one of them from their original galaxies and then put them all into a single solar system with a central sun. Um, the only thing that existed here where we sit right now was the moon that's above our planet. And that moon that was above our planet is a very, very, very ancient object created by the second, third, and fourth generations of immigrants to this universe. It was literally created to mark the end of the universe. The universe is ever expanding and ever expanding and ever expanding. And the prime, galactic prime creator keeps making more and more galaxies and putting himself off. Um, the pollution of drama had gotten so great, um, the moon, which the second, third, and fourth generations of, of galactic entities, they used it as a waypoint between galaxies, and it was the perfect place to put a seventh-dimensional galactic seed planet, which is Earth, which was the prime drama planet of all 66 lines of drama. So they put Earth in front of that, and that moon and then brought every other planet here, including the sun. Each planet has a soul family group that migrates in and out of it. Some planets have dozens, if not thousands, of soul family groups. Our planet has 2,300 primary soul families and 700 <coughs> secondary soul family groups. Mars and Venus and all those others have their own soul families. The sun is the representative of the, the heads of those soul families, the oldest versions of those. When you migrate from one universe to this universe, you take a physical body or you take an energy body. When you take a physical body, you have a DNA representation in it, which begins the soul family line. The entities that live in our sun have all of the soul family line and DNA family lineages within their energy bodies when they live within the sun. So if anything wants to enter the solar system, they must have DNA or soul relations to get in. That is the base facts of how our universe works for each parts of the galactic stargate system. So if you want to go from one sun to another sun, you must have DNA or soul relations to that, those entities that live within the sun, and then you can create a user dimensional drive or a, a warp drive to get into this part of space. The Galactic Ascension Machine, uh, 400, 520 to 560,000 years ago is when it was put into it's this position that it's in now where a management system was put in charge of Earth. Earth was the place that you come and get your PhD in the School of Hard Knocks. Mars is where you resolve, resolve war karma. Venus is where you resolve um, where brand new life that's coming to this galaxy and wants to understand the drama. Here goes. Um, Venus is also the place of the philosophers that come here to resolve karmic issues through a broadcast system so people can be aware of the different types of philosophy. The Galactic Ascension Machine itself has been under different levels of invasion on a spiritual level. Um, when one galaxy decided to introduce war into the other galaxies, right at the rollout of Earth, where it was seventh dimensional seed planet, we're literally going to go seed life to a whole new galaxy. That's when the wars began. And the battle for Earth has always been that prime because the time wars that have existed for 52 million years have always been about taking control of the energies of Earth so that you can literally populate a whole new galaxy with DNA wisdom and to blank acacia records of the planet. 